So here's the dealio, live rich mommies and daddies and parents in general. When I was younger, my mother never let us celebrate Halloween. And now that I'm a parent, I almost feel guilty. Like, should I give my kids the experience? Because I remember, I always wanted the experience. I figured, why not give them that Halloween experience? Do I have a costume? No. Do I have a bucket for collecting candies? No. Will they be eating said candies? Again, the answer is no. But I figured at the least it could double for today's cardio or as today's cardio so I get a workout in, they get their fresh air, air and outdoor time and I get to meet some new neighbors in the process. So that's what we're gonna do. First step, find a costume. <laughs> All right, so operation costume has begun. Mm. I'm gonna have to be really creative with this one. Let's see what I can do. Pajamas, pajamas, overdress, with pants. There you go. I was about to be a sleeping princess. Found a really pretty dress from her second birthday party. And I found some pajamas she hasn't worn yet. Boom, sleeping princess. Put the pajama pants under. So she stays warm. When we get home, all I gotta do is take off the dress. She'll be ready for bed after she brushes her teeth. No, you're probably wondering or saying slash thinking to yourself, princesses wear crowns. Well, I don't necessarily have a tiara for her, but being that I'm the creative liver mommy that I am, Lego pieces or whatever these things, bright builders. But um, I'm gonna build her a little tiara. There you have it, a Halloween costume. Aria's gonna love it. <laughs> now, it's my turn to figure out what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Um, I'll play the part of a mom that has it all together. Definitely gonna be wearing my baby carrier because I'm not walking around the town just holding the baby and then the other one in the stroller. And this one is orange, so I guess it's kind of festive. So I'm gonna wear my Live Rich Mommy sweatshirt. Let's hit the road, shall we? Mm. Our house looks like a tornado passed through it, but I think Arya looks great, or at least the concept is great. I don't know. Did a mouth face beat. Arya's not having it. Chase is getting hot, so we gotta go. But I wanted to show you guys. Look, here, put your shoe on. Okay, show your, show your costume. Turn around. <laughs> a one, two, three. Cheese. Wait, you forgot your crown. So we finally made it out. I think Arya's costume looks great, but then again, I'm biased because obviously I put it together for myself. And we're about to start heading out for our first ever, well, even my first ever trick-or-treating experience. Let's go. Yeah. Your costume came out great, Arya. You're a sleeping princess. You gotta keep it on. How are you gonna say happy? How are you gonna say trick-or-treat without your crown? Go ahead. All right, baby, ring the doorbell. Can you ring it? Ring the doorbell. Uh, we're back. Just got back, it's a little after seven. My verdict on our first trick-or-treat experience was it was fabulous, it was fun. A lot of people thought that Arya's outfit was clever, so feeling very good about myself um, and my decision to do this, especially being that it was super last minute. Aria, did you have fun? I banana more. You want a banana? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so happy that you want that instead of the other stuff banana, that's back mama, the banana. Okay, all right, let's eat dinner. Did you have fun? It was fun. Yeah? Yeah. You want to do it again? Um, mommy banana. Okay, you're all about this banana life. <laughs> Say bye. Head over to the bye. blog, liverichmommy.com. Until the next time, live rich and happy dream chasing. If you like this video, hit the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.